Captain, scanners have detected an alien spaceship ahead of us. On video screen, spec. I see stars, a nebula, and a small moon, but no spaceship. That's no moon. It is a probability cloud where the spaceship might be. Scanner data is ghostly and fleeting. We are dealing with a superposition of eigenstates. Like Schrodinger's cat, neither alive nor dead until someone observes it. Damn it Speck, I'm a captain, not a quantum physicist, but I do know that the act of looking at the spaceship should make it exist, or not exist. Sir, that other spaceship is not in a superposition of eigenstates. We are. According to the computer, the spaceship we have found is from a 21st century television series called Stargate Universe. Logic dictates that we ourselves are poised midway between reality and fiction. How can that be? History has apparently gone wrong, and if we do not correct it, we will become fictional. That other spaceship will then be visible and solid to us. Using historical archives, I have determined the location and date of the alteration, a television network on Earth in the year 2011. Mr. Silly, play in a course for Earth. Maximum speed. Spec, calculate a boomerang trajectory to take us back in time. Affirmative. We are in the office of the executive who cancelled Stargate Universe. Sir, I am Captain Kurt and this is First Officer Spec. After having seen us teleport here with your own eyes, I imagine you will have no trouble believing that we are space travelers from the distant future. Cancel. That's exactly the problem. You canceled Stargate Universe, placing your entire civilization in grave danger. Without an epic space science fiction series to inspire humanity to reach for the stars, your people will fail to develop faster than light travel before they destroy Earth's ecology and become extinct. Cancel. Sir, canceling Stargate Universe was illogical. Had the series been aired in the summer its ratings would have been far higher. Furthermore, Stargate Universe's internet viewership was tremendous. Indeed. 7 million Netflix reviews give the Stargate franchise an average of 4 stars out of 5 and Stargate Universe the highest rating of any part of the franchise. You should have monetized the internet viewers and positioned yourself at the forefront of the internet television revolution. Logic dictates that you must revive the show. Cancel. Spec, he won't listen to reason. You must use the volcanic brain blend to make him understand. Sir. Alliance rules require him to read our privacy policy first. That would take all day. This is an emergency. Just do it. As you wish. My brain, to your brain. Our imaginations are like twin lava flows from erupting volcanoes, merging together. Cancel. Well, that obviously didn't work. Captain. I could not blend our brains because his brain is gone. You mean it was stolen? Can you jury rig a remote control device so we can walk him around with us while we search for his brain? Hmm, that idea seems familiar. No, his brain has not been stolen. It has completely atrophied from excessive exposure to professional wrestling. Then we have failed. The human race is doomed, and we will exist only in fiction. Cancel. Wait. I have an idea. If we are fictional, then we must be on television. Sir, given our computer synthesized voices, and the use of public domain material, I believe it more likely that we are in a very low budget web show. Either way, we have an audience. Real people who can affect the real world. Listen up, all of you out there. Speck and I have done everything we can. It's your job now to fight for Stargate Universe. Appeal to MGM, Netflix, iTunes, Sci-Fi, and everyone else. Someone will listen. In every revolution there's one man with a vision. Save the Stargate, save the world.